This episode of Doc Talk is brought to you by First Bank. We're not just your neighborhood bank, we're your neighbors. Our local team lives up to the name, putting our customers and community first. To experience First Bank difference, stop by any of our 13 Knoxville area locations or visit firstbankonline.com. First Bank, member FDIC. Hello, my name is Dr. Rob Page and welcome to Doc Talk. Doc Talk is a podcast that is produced by the Knoxville Academy of Medicine and features its physician members giving information to patients that is helpful in terms of making their health care decisions. And I feel so fortunate to have with me tonight uh, Dr. Matt Doppel. Uh, Dr. Doppel is a dermatologist who's been working in the Knoxville area for a very long time. About, about like, We've been here almost the same amount of time, I guess about 20 years now. We have kids about the same age, and he's been in practice in Southeast Dermato- at Southeast Dermatology, and he's here to talk to us tonight about some, some new techniques and some new technologies um, in dermatology. Uh, Matt, Dr. Doppel, welcome. I'm sorry we, we have a familiarity. We yes, know each other yes. well, so well, but <laughs> Dr. Doppel, welcome. Um, and I guess the first thing that you had mentioned to me that you were going to talk to me about was about um, treatment of warts. Um, all of us have had warts, or most of us have had warts. Um, and classically, we know that the way is that these things get frozen off or there's over-the-counter stuff that doesn't really work that well. Tell us what you guys now have in, in terms of treating warts. Well, first <coughs> of all, I'd just say I hate warts, all right? I mean, and, I, and there's probably not a, a, a practitioner out there who doesn't hate it when patients come in with warts. Um, I've had my own sort of personal uh, battle with them. Um, I can remember when I moved here, from you know out of my residency and I had some warts periungal warts around the fingers and uh, it was so embarrassing because I mean I had every tool at my disposal to get rid of the warts and just you know I just couldn't get rid of them and yeah. it's embarrassing I'm a dermatologist I can't get rid of my own <laughs> warts right um, so uh, um, anyway you know so this struggle has gone on for you know for years now um, and you know the, the primary way we get rid of warts is typically to destroy the tissue where the wart lives so this causes a lot of sometimes pain for patients, uh, discomfort, scarring. Um, and uh, so, you know, destructive method is one way. Um, another method is to try to get immunotherapy, to try to get the body's immune system to come in and fight off the wart. Um, and we've tried various different ways to make that happen as well. Um, sometimes successful, but a lot of times not. So um, I became really interested in this device that has, uh, that's come out called SWIFT. And it is a low energy microwave device that we basically place on a few of the warts. If you have a lot of warts, you don't, you don't have to treat every single one. You can just treat a, a couple of them. And when you treat these warts, it's a quick treatment, um, relatively speaking, painless. And instead of destroying the wart, it triggers the body's immune system to come in and fight off the wart. So it's kind of like um, a little, little bit of trickery, if you will, immune trickery. Um, but once you kind of get that, um, that reaction going where the immune system is fighting off the wart, it actually will go all over and get rid of the warts in other places. And that's mm-hmm. why you don't have to treat every wart because you're, again, getting an immune response going. Oh, wow. So, so when you mention microwaves, I mean, of course, I think of microwave oven, but this is a different type of microwave. This is, this is not something that's going to heat it up or, you know, like we think about freezing them off. This is not the opposite of that, which would be heating it up. Correct. This is a non-destructive method. Um, I've actually used this on myself. I don't have any warts anymore, thankfully, but I've even used it on myself and it, it gets a little hot. Um, the application, when we apply it, it's a two second burst of this microwave energy. So um, it gets a little warm, but it's, you know, again, it's not really painful. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the treatments, we typically do treatments. Um, it's uh, every four weeks, three treatments every uh, four weeks. Two treatments every four weeks, and this is... I'm sorry, it's one... I said this wrong. (laughs) It's one treatment every four weeks for three, like sort of three sessions. So you would be going for about, you know, three months. So you'd be going back, uh, you know, once a month for about three months to get these treatments. Correct. Um, now in, in terms of, uh, pay, is this something that insurance generally will pay for? So the sort of the issue that we have right now is that we don't really have, um, codes for immunotherapy for warts. Right, right. Uh, so, um, what we do is we, there's a, you know, sort of, we make it almost like a cosmetic charge, right. um, and we pay outside of, you know, sort of outside of the insurance. Gotcha. But, but, but in the long run, this ends up actually paying for itself because as opposed to going multiple times 
getting every single wart frozen off. And, you know, which, it, you know, any of us who've had warts know that you freeze these off or you get one of the over-counter treatments. You're not talking about treating it one time. You're talking about treating it and then it coming back and then treating it and then it coming back. This, it, this you said, has a very high cure rate. Right. Well, the, the cure rate for this treatment is, uh, in, in reported studies, um, they've been well designed. We're talking about 85% plus cure rate for the warts oh, after wow. three treatments. Uh, and then also importantly is a less than 1% recurrence rate of the warts. Oh, wow. So um, it's, uh, it, it's really significant. And, and the other thing is, you know, originally they sort of brought this device out, I think, to treat um, uh, or excuse me, for podiatrists, mm -hmm. uh, because you can imagine when we treat these you know, warts on the feet, um, a lot of times, you know, they're extensive mm -hmm. and, you know, again, a destructive method in that area. I mean, you might not be able to walk on your, you know, on your foot for oh, a couple yeah. of weeks, that oh, kind yeah. of thing. So, um, you know, when you think about, you know, downtime, you know, lost work, um, you know, this is great for kids because they can, you know, they can have their treatment and then they can go and, you know, and, and play their sport. Um, so it's just really, uh, you know, I think it's a really interesting way to try to treat these things. And I'm, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, about the possibilities. And that's, it. and and as you said, I mean, not only, not only does this strike me as incredibly advantageous for the cure rate, but also the fact that you don't necessarily have to have every wart treated. That if you're someone who has multiple warts, if you've got them on your feet, maybe your knees, you know, somewhere on your hands, you get a few of these treated. It that actually spurs the body to get rid of the warts elsewhere. That's correct. That's that's an incredible thing. So, um, well, in addition to the Swift, you mentioned another very interesting technology, um, which I'm which I'm sure will have a, a lot of application. Um, and you mentioned it's called Quo. Quo, yes. So uh, Quo is a brand new injectable medication, um, and it is for the treatment of dimpled cellulite. All right, and so this is the first of its kind. Um, what's interesting about Quo is it's it, in a way it's similar to Botox, right? So Botox before we had for wrinkles, before we right. had Botox cosmetic, you know, we had other medical uses of this, um, and then you know some uh, pretty uh, brilliant people put it together, like oh, we could treat you know uh, wrinkles with this, mm -hmm. and now it's become this you know this huge thing. So you know, ninety percent of women have cellulite. Men right. rarely get cellulite, but about ninety percent of women have it. Um, and so far, you know, there's different creams that people have talked about. There's you know, a lot of different technologies have come out, but nothing is really long lasting and effective, mm -hmm. and so um, and, and easy to do. And so this is a fairly simple process. We mark out where the cellulite dimples are. We inject the medication. And, uh, you know, and that's it. They leave the office. It's a relatively, again, painless procedure. Um, we tell patients there is a significant amount of bruising that happens with this, um, but that is to be expected. It's the way the medication works. It's actually breaking down the fibrous septa that are tethering down the cellulite. Oh, wow. And so uh, it's a collagenase enzyme, or it's actually two collagenase enzymes that uh, will actually break those, uh, break down that, uh, those fibrous septa. So if you're talking about like, like, like the typical, if you're talking about a typical female who is trying to get cellulite treated, who may have it on the back of their legs or maybe on their, uh, you know, on their uh, behind, um, and they have, a, you know, they have a fairly large area, you don't end up injecting a whole lot. You end up only injecting a few areas, is that correct? Or So it's, the real challenge is, you know, like any irregularity, contour irregularity that someone sees on their, you know, their backside, they're, they're gonna think that that's cellulite, okay. right? So what we're, look, what we're talking about with Quo is true dimpled cellulite. Okay. And you know, sort of the way I look at this um, and, and the way you can kind of discern what is skin laxity um, and what is you know, a, a true dimple is to actually, um, you kind of lift the skin above where the dimple is. And if the dimple is still there when you lift the skin, that's true dimpled cellulite. Okay. And that's where okay. the, the quo is going to be great. Now, we do also have in, uh, in my office some other devices that we can use to actually help tighten the skin or give us some skin laxity uh, uh, improvement. Um, and so I think uh, ultimately, um, you know, being able to combine both the quo for the true dimpled cellulite, which is going to give a long lasting improvement for that, coupled with some skin tightening, I right. think this is going to be a game changer. Because there really is no other, I mean, you mentioned creams, et cetera, but this is not, uh, cellulite is something you, you can't really treat it surgically. You can't do liposuction on it. Um, you, you know, there are some, I, I know that there have been some 
methods here lately, like with, with uh, cryotherapy or with ultrasonic therapy that have been used to treat fat, but that's not really how you can treat cellulite. That's really to treat more unwanted fat in certain areas. So that That's right. So it's really those fibrous septa that are tethering down the cellulite mm -hmm. that, are, that are causing that dimpled problem. And what's actually interesting is, you know, because I do some liposuction in my office as well, um, you can actually make cellulite, the appearance of cellulite worse when you lipo it, right, right, uh, and so you've really got to you've really got to tackle the root cause, which are those fibrous, you know, septa that are there. Um, and you know, there there is a device. Uh, I actually had it in my office for a little while uh, called Selfina, and it actually would go in and subsize those tissue, mm -hmm. subsize those septa. Um, but it was a pretty cumbersome process to right, do, right. and uh, and so ultimately. You know, I, I was like, you know, this is just, you know, this is just not going to work out for my patients. And so I was really excited. And to, so what could be easier than just quote. to go in it? I mean, you know, just like having Botox injections, now you're getting injections for your, for the dimpled cellulite. Correct. Yeah. So well, that, that's incredible. So, so no downtime. This is something you might get a little bruising with. It's relatively painless. Um, would you need to have multiple therapies for different areas or? Great. So the, the protocol for this is you get the dimples injected once a week for three, uh, for, excuse me, once every three weeks, <laughs> all right, for a total of three sessions. Okay. And maximum or, or final results are seen at about 10 weeks. Okay, and so so once your body's, so once you've destroyed all this fiber septi, which is actually creating those little dimples, um, it takes it takes a few treatments to be able to get rid of that. And then over time to get your body heal and for the skin to tighten up and everything else, you get maximum result at about 10 weeks. About 10 weeks, that's, that's right. That's incredible. And so, right now, it's this is a you know new medication that's out there. So right now they we're talking about at least a year of improvement in this, but, Again, my feeling after using like the Selfina treatment where you're actually subsizing those septa, um, you're getting much longer results than than a year out. So uh, we just can't say anything more, you know, on label about right. it. Well, because it's, 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 I mean, it's cutting edge stuff. I mean, this is right. this is absolutely novel stuff. So and, and, and what could be just getting a few injections? I mean, you know, just quick and and fairly easy. I can imagine, you know, the, what would the average appointment time be for a patient to come in? So um, it. it probably takes us more time to like take the photos and mark <laughs> things out, right. right? Actual injection time, maybe 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, maybe so very, 10 minutes. Yeah, so we're looking at probably about a 30 minute appointment. So multiple visits, done. but for very short periods of time and with really good results right. and with yeah. that, that's incredible. And, and you know, the, the big thing I think with this is that uh, the only real uh, sort of side effect that we get really concerned about is the bruising, Right. Uh, but we know that it happens. We know that it goes away. Right. And so, you know, you. Wear, wear something that's going to cover it, you know, right. wear a sarong around your waist or whatever to, you know, if you want to get that done, you know, during the, during the, uh, I, I was going to say, and, and considering a lot of the other, the, the other different treatments that exist out there, which actually have a lot more different side effects and can have a lot more recovery time. This, this seems to be, you know, a fairly ideal yeah. new technology. So, yeah. well, that's incredible. And you mentioned one third, you mentioned a third one, which is actually not, not something new, um, but you have a new application for something that you already have used. Right. So, you know, we're doing, uh, we're doing a lot more dermal fillers these days okay. and you know, people, I think a lot of people know, like say Voluma for the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so as, as cosmetic dermatologists, plastic surgeons, uh, you know, we, we sort of use these things in other areas, maybe off label from, you know, from the FDA uh, labeling indications, but we now actually have two different fillers, hyaluronic acid fillers, that are uh, that we're now able to uh, treat on label for the chin and like chin contour and jawline. So you know, sort of setting the foundation in the cheeks uh, with uh, you know with one of those uh, cheek fillers, and then moving on down to contouring and uh, getting better projection of the chin, which. Um, as, as we age, we get this sort of volume loss and we also get retrusion of the chin. Mm -hmm. And so that's what starts to create that sort of jowling and the pre-jowling. Mm -hmm. And so it's amazing what can be done. I mean, I've, I've treated some patients, you know, in the, in these areas. And if I, if I gave you a picture, I'd say, well, you know, what did I do? And you'd say, well, you did liposuction, you did submental liposuction on them. And I'd be like, no, I injected their chin. Uh, and you'd be like, this is amazing. So rather than decreasing down here, you're increasing out here. Right, so. because the chin, again, it retrudes over time mm -hmm. and you lose the volume there. Wow. And so... Um, it's, so, so this is a, so this is a hyaluronic acid filler that's been around for the Voluma, which has been around for a long, for a fairly long time. Right. Um, a well-accepted form of, uh, of filler therapy. 
typically used on other areas of the face, but now you can actually use it on the chin on label in order to be able to create this. So, so the ideal patient would be someone who is, is just basically an older patient who's starting to, it may be someone who's starting to get, you know, that, that jowling effect as opposed to having to go in. Now I know there's some new therapies for jowls as well, aren't there? There's yes, some new treatments. Yes. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, that, we could do another talk on that. <laughs> I was going to say. So <laughs> I, I watch a lot of TV. So I'm, I just <laughs> uh, I, I joke. I, I have a problem. I buy like I, I love the new technology right, right, and I right. love what it can do. And and uh, and so yeah. So there are some newer energy based devices. Right. Um, there's a, a device that I have that I just love called Face Tight, mm -hmm. which uh, is actually it's a radio frequency assisted liposuction. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know an hour in my office and and uh, through three small, you know, openings, like a millimeter and a half, we can, you know, treat this, uh, the fat in the submental area right. um, and along the jawline and really get some nice skin tightening with yeah. that. But this is another way you could do it. Well, actually, you could probably get even enhance those results. Yeah. Right. So, you know, really when it comes to sort of facial rejuvenation, I kind of look at it, you know, about three-legged stool is what I call it. And, you know, one of the things is to take care of the pigmentation problems, um, the, the fine lines, the wrinkles, texture irregularities. So that's one issue. The other issue is to restore volume that's been lost right. and tighten the skin, mm -hmm. right? And so um, that's where, you know, the injectable fillers and say like something like face tight, they're complementary. They really do uh, um, help each other sort of, you know, achieve a better overall aesthetic result. Wow. So, well, some, some fascinating uh, new technologies and, and new therapies that we have here. Um, Dr. Dotbelt, your office is here in Knoxville. Um, Southeast Dermatology. Um, if I'm a patient, I'm interested in, in uh, contacting your office about getting one of these new therapies or getting more information about these therapies, about how to treat warts or, or uh, dimpled cellulite or, or the chin fillers with Voluma, how would I contact your office? Well, so um, the practice is Southeastern Dermatology. Uh, Southeastern Dermatology. Southeastern Dermatology. Southeastern Dermatology. Gotcha. Uh, our main location is right uh, next to the uh, corner of, uh, it's like where Pellissippi and North Shore intersect. Um, and it, it's, it, it, you can see it from the uh, the uh, Starbucks drive through right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, um, I, that, that's a... Yes, if you can find the Starbucks, you know, right there. You're right, the, but you, you, just go to Starbucks we, we and you go right to his office. Driver, so. Yeah, and I like an iced skinny vanilla latte too, right? <laughs> um, no, just kidding. Um, I'm a nitro. I'm a nitro cold brew guy, okay, my guy. So, right. um, no, but uh, the um, uh, uh, the location is you know pretty convenient right there, um, and uh, my website is www drdophealth.com. So that's D-R-D-O-P-P-E-L-T dot we'll com. You'll have that down here at the bottom. Oh, good. Thank and, you. And then so so if I want to get more information, I can go to your website um, and we'll have a telephone number. Do you have another office that's uh, that, that's available to some patients? So uh, we do have a satellite location that's down in uh, South Knoxville, kind of where Chapman Highway and John Sevier Highway intersect. Um, it's in the Tenova South building. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a presence down there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I do all the cosmetic work at, you know, at the main office because that's where we have all the equipment to do, but uh, to do the work. But we also, uh, we, you know, we see the medical. Patients. But you have medical dermatology down there. And then that's you do most of your, you do all your cosmetic stuff uh, in the Knoxville location, which is over there in West that's Knoxville, right, right so, off North Shore. And so at the main office, we medical, surgical and cosmetic dermatology. Gotcha. Gotcha. We, we've, we've got, uh, uh, we we like to say we do it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me here this evening and giving giving uh, giving these patients and giving me myself uh, some great new information about new therapies that are available uh, in cosmetic dermatology and, and, and treating warts, which th that to me is is really amazing stuff. So, well, yeah, I'm I'm excited about some of this uh, this new technology, and um, you know, you can call and make an appointment for warts, and and we come in, and you know, you'd asked about the cost of it. Right. If all we do is treat the warts, um, you know, basically we're not going to sort of have an office visit charge as right. well. So it'd just be, you know, for the treatment of the warts. Gotcha. And so, and, and, and like you indicated, I mean, you know, based upon the fact that a lot of times you're going back in for having these treat the same warts treated, you know, years later, days, you know, but you know, months later, years later, time and time again, it just, yep. this strikes me as just a, a great way to be able to eliminate a lot of that headache. Yeah. So, well, um, that has been our episode of uh, doc talk for this evening. Uh, not doc talks, docs talk, doc talk, David. So I, I get it right this time. Uh, doc talk is a podcast that is produced by the Knoxville Academy of Medicine and features its physician members giving information to patients that is helpful in terms of making their healthcare decisions. Uh, I'm Dr. Rob Page, and thank you so much for joining us. 
This episode of Doc Talk is brought to you by First Bank. We're not just your neighborhood bank, we're your neighbors. Our local team lives up to the name, putting our customers and community first. To experience First Bank difference, stop by any of our 13 Knoxville area locations or visit firstbankonline.com. First Bank, member FDIC.